Good morning and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand. And this is chapter 10. So the final chapter, we're just wrapping this all up. I know it's been a long chapter and I've repeated myself many, many times. I'm not going to repeat myself about the volleyball game this time. So if you have questions about what I'm talking about, go back to one of the previous nine channels or chapters and, uh, and they will uh, explain that to you. Okay, so last night when I was getting up in the middle of the night about 3 a.m. because I usually get up early, um, I had a, an, an ant come into my head. Um, this chapter is ch ants and paws. Ants are an automatic negative thought and paws are powerfully affirmative words. And an ant came into my thoughts that said, I own you. I own this place. You can't, you can't ever touch it. You know, you're not going to be able to ever clean it. And I've told you before that I have a hard time cleaning my um, space because I had some psychotic breaks here and um, have a, just like a block that says it doesn't belong to me. And, and um, there's something that quite right here and um so I had that thought that came into my head that said I own you you can't touch this you you I own this place you you can't touch this and I thought oh okay that's an ant that is not a real thought um I mean it's a real thought but it's not coming from me and it's definitely coming at me and this one's coming from god behind it so this volleyball game that i've been talking about over and over again um is now in my mind at at that time in three in the morning between satan and god and i am on god's theme and satan is hitting the ball at me saying I own I own you <laughs> and I'm saying uh I'm ready for this God's behind this God says you got this you can do this you can challenge this challenge that thought stop on it and um so I I thought you know what this is perfect this is a perfect ending to my little collection of videos here about this volleyball game I'm on God's side. I'm on God's team and God is the coach and those balls are going to come at me really strong now. You know, they're really going to come hard and fast and I have to decide, am I going to allow that to say he owns me? He doesn't own me. I'm going to, I'm going to block that. I'm going to hit that ball to the setter and we're going to head it back and now this game is really going on this really is going on where it's like there that ball is going to hit the ground it's not going to be a lifetime volley of back and forth back and forth back and forth it's going to be we all know which team is going to win we all know it's it's written and so i know which team i'm on and um so when i get those really powerful thoughts of you know you know they're coming from a dark place um i can say hey, i'm challenging you i'm challenging you because i know whose team i'm on and i'm ready for anything you've got so bring it and and uh be ready you know be ready for whatever it is whatever's coming because i know god's behind it saying you've got this i've got you you no matter what happens you're gonna be okay and so yeah so that was my thought last night and uh i'm gonna squash them you know when thoughts like that come and it's real dark it's really scary not scary it's not really scary for me anymore because i know what's behind it um and i know that god's right there and um yeah so it wasn't it wasn't scary it was more like oh yeah you watch me you watch me clean this place you watch me 
Go ahead and watch me. You don't own anything. I own this place. And I am on the right team. And my coach is hitting those balls at me. And he's telling me I can handle anything he he can bring. And he's bringing everything he's got. And I can handle it. Because I know who my coach is. And I know which team I'm on. So I hope that made sense. I know it was a little, a little out there, but... It was just kind of a perfect way to wrap it up, um, to say, you know, sometimes those thoughts, those negative ants, um, or those negative automatic thoughts, um, they can, they can be pretty powerfully destructive and you got to stomp on them. You have to, you have to stomp on them. So I hope People who are struggling with drug and addiction can one day watch this. Um, people who struggle with whatever, oh, there's so much out there, um, you know, terrible, terrible things out there in this world. And if you either suffered from the effects of that, or if you are a person who feels in the throes of that, just Go back on this chapter and, and look at these videos and say, you know, what team am I on? And who who am I serving? And who's serving to me? So, I hope that made sense. Alright, the bottom card is the death card. Perfect. Because it's about transformation. It's about putting away things that are dead to you. Things that are no longer serving you. Things that are out of your life. That don't matter anymore. They just don't matter anymore. You're putting it, you're putting it to rest. And you are transforming into something bigger and better and brighter. And the other card that I picked is the Five of Cups which is um, about loss and grief. And, um, I don't know. I'm not sure how that one would fit in. Maybe it's a loss of, you know, a certain way that you've believed, you know, believed about yourself for the longest time. I'm going to pick another one just because uh, just I want to end it on a positive note. Um, but, yeah. Loss of a, a part of yourself, you know, maybe you're losing something that you've held on to for for a very long time. All right. Judgment. The judgment card. Um, it's kind of like, oh, and I hear a crow outside. Every time I hear a crow, I say, oh, that's a big one. So, um, judgment card means, um... Well, let's find it exact re meaning of it. Um, but I believe it is um, meaning, you know, there is, there is a day that we all go to our maker, whatever maker you choose to go to, and there is going to be judgment. And... It is, where is it? <laughs> well, it shouldn't be this hard to find. I'm sorry. Justice Hangman, Temperance. The Last Judgment. Okay. That's why I couldn't find judgment. I'm like, where is it? Okay. Change of position. Renewal. Outcome. And um, so that that's perfect. You know, thank you, Lord, for picking that card. Because that is the ultimate, um, the ultimate of uh, why we're here. Is to choose how we're going to play this game called life and it's really two teams evil versus good 
right versus wrong, black versus white. And just remember when, when those ants come, God is right behind you saying, you've got this, you can do this, you can get through anything you've got. And you, and I believe in you and I love you and I will always choose you and I hope you choose me. So thank you. And I hope you have a great day.